special discussion, the new Pokemon Horizons opening. The new opening of Pokemon Horizons reveals a lot of exciting elements for the upcoming arc, giving us plenty to look forward to. Let's break down some of the key points. 1. Liko, Dot, and Roy return to the Rising Volt Tacklers. We see Liko, Dot, and Roy feeling down, but once they return to the Rising Volt Tacklers, they're filled with joy again. It shows the bond they share with their, th their team and how the Volt Tacklers are like their second family. 2. Carmine appears without Kieran. Carmine makes an appearance in the opening, but her brother Kieran is noticeably absent. Since Kieran plays a key role in the Kitakami story in the games, it's likely he will be introduced later, with the opening possibly updating to include him once he appears in the series. 3. Professor Briar at Crystal Lake We see Professor Briar at Crystal Lake, hinting that this location will be important for learning more about Lucius's past. Lyco and her friends will likely discover significant information about Lucius's connection to Rayquaza and Terrapagos here. Number 4. Perrin and Hisuian Arcanine We get our first look at Perrin alongside her Hisuian Arcanine. This marks the debut of Hisuian Pokémon in the anime, a big moment for fans of the Legends Arceus games. Perrin seems set to play a key role, possibly helping Liko and her team with the capture of Cleaver, another Pokémon linked to Lucius. Mark 5. Amethio no longer in the Explorer In a surprising turn, Amethio is no longer part of the Explorer. This suggests he might switch sides and fight against his former teammates, adding a new layer of conflict. Could Amethio join forces with Liko and her friends against a greater threat? Mabra 6. The Boss of the Explorer and the Power of the Crystals The Boss of the Explorer is seen using a mysterious crystal, which is the same type used to power up Spinel's Umbreon in a previous episode. This time, it looks like the boss is using it to control Shiny Zygarde, and Liko is shown gaining more control over Terrapagos, which may be critical in the battle against Zygarde. We also see Rayquaza, Lucius's, fighting Shiny Zygarde, teasing an epic showdown. Number 7. Why isn't Rayquaza shiny? Interestingly, the Rayquaza fighting Shiny Zygarde isn't shiny itself. Some fans theorize that Rayquaza might turn shiny if it's powered up by Terrapagos, unlocking its full potential in battle. 8. Only 4 of Lucius's Pokémon shown The opening only shows 4 of Lucius's 6 Pokémon fighting against Shiny Zygarde. The other two, Cleaver and Entei, haven't been revealed yet, likely because they haven't been caught by Liko and her friends. We might see an updated opening once these Pokémon join the battle. Number 9. The boss of the Explorer was Lucius's friend. The final, shocking reveal is that the boss of the Explorer was actually friends with Lucius. This character seems to have been alive for hundreds of years, adding an interesting twist to the story. This could mean the boss was once part of Lucius's group, and the reasons for his betrayal or separation might become a central plotline. Exciting theories about the opening. Kieran could have an important role in the story once he is introduced. Rayquaza may turn shiny when fully powered up by Terrapagos. The boss of the Explorer might hold the key to understanding Lucius's true story and motivations, possibly leading to a final, climactic battle involving Rayquaza and Zygarde. What do you think? What are your theories about the new opening? Do you think Rayquaza will turn shiny? And which character are you most excited to meet in Kitakami? Let me know in the comments.